In this video, we're going to find the standard deviation of a data set, one, two, three, four, five. So this video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to do it by hand. And then we're going to use the calculator to verify um, the answer. OK, so this is the standard deviation formula. S is going to be the standard deviation, small s. You got the sum. You got the variable xi, okay, which means these are your data points, minus x bar, which is your mean. You're going to square it and divide by n minus 1. You have these parentheses because you got to do this operation first, square it for one of these data points, and then you do it again, and then you add those because this symbol tells you to add one way of doing this, there are many ways of doing this, but it's, I think the best way is to lay it out on the table. So here I got xi and here I got all my values. So I need to continue on my table. Here we're going to put xi minus x bar, this step right here. So this, this table is going to help me do it step by step. Okay, So xi minus x bar, which is this step, not squared. You could do it squared, um, but this is a little bit easier to calculate step by step. So xi, meaning 1, take away, x bar is 3. If x bar is not available, you can always calculate it separately, right? x bar is equal to the sum of x divided by n. So here, um, you could put parentheses if you like, or you can just say equals to. 1 take away 3 is negative 2. Now, to do that in your calculator, right, let's turn it on. 1 take away 3, enter, and you can see it's minus 2. Now, make sure you don't use this button right here, right? It's the take away sign. Okay, and then 2 take away 3 equals negative 1. 3 take away 3 is equal to 0. 4 take away 3 is equal to 1, and 5 take away 3 is equal to 2. Okay, awesome. We're going to be using these values in a minute. Next step, it seems like we need to square. We're, we're not going to sum it yet. So xi minus x bar squared. Here we're going to get negative 2 squared. And it's important to keep the parentheses, and I'll tell you why. Negative 1 squared, 0 squared. 1 squared, 2 squared. Now, we already know, I mean, many of us, negative 2 times negative 2 is equal to 4. If you use your calculator, right, and you say, now it has to be this negative here, negative 2 squared, squared's right here, and enter, you can see it's minus 4. That's not the same answer, okay? This is a more algebraic view of, of negative 2 squared. you got to put the parentheses. So put the parentheses. Take away. Well, let's not take away. Minus, right? Minus 2. Close parentheses. And then squared. That gives you a positive 4. I know. A lot of steps putting parentheses and such. Or you can do it by hand. Negative 1 squared, right? So parentheses. A negative 1, close it, and then the square button's right here, enter, and that's going to give you what? 1. So that's um, negative 1 times negative 1, that's going to be 1. 0 times 0, right, is 0. 1 times 1, 1. 2 times 2, 4. Now, that's all you need uh, because that's the top operation we're going to sum in a minute. All right, next step. Let's add these numbers uh, to verify a couple of things. So this is going to be the sum of x. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And that's about right because here, if we put 15, the sum of x divided by how many we have? 5 gives you 3, right? Which is the average. So that verifies nicely. 
this column right here, right, the sum of x i minus x bar should be equal to or approximately zero. This is why one of, one of the reasons. Uh, so why is it zero? Because it, what it's talking about it's the the idea that the uh, one two three four five that the mean is considered a balance point. It's called a balance point. Okay. It's also called a typical value. But if you put, you know, the values that you have here, you can see that here on the mean of three, that the distance, this is a positive one distance, this is a positive two distance. Over here it's a negative one distance, negative two distance, that this balances out. Believe it or not, any data set with fractions, decimals, whatever, any data set will have this property where the mean will balance the data, okay? So that's why if you have a, a, a data point that's far away, then what happens is this, this balance, this equilibrium is not the best. And, you know, this, th these points are called outliers. But we're not there. That's, that's not the lesson, the lesson. So this column has to be very close to zero. Some of you are like, how close? Well, it depends on your teacher. Is it like 0 0.10 off, like 10 cents, 0 0.20, 0 0.90, that's 90 cents, a dollar 30. You're like, why am I why am I saying this as money? You know, I don't, you know, first of all, it's a little bit better to understand this as money. Okay. I didn't say anything about the problem. This this could be, you know, the weight of each chicken. It doesn't really matter. Okay, now the sum of xi minus x bar squared. This one, we need to know the sum. Okay, we need to know that. xi minus x bar squared. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, let's put it together. So this is 10 divided by n. 5 minus 1. Don't forget the square root. 10 divided by 4, square root. 5 divided by 2, square root. Ah, now we're going to have to use the calculator. Okay. Let's quit here. Um, there's many ways of doing this. Let's do it the longer way. 5 divided by 2, enter. 2.5, square root. Then, uh, you see right here where the square is? This is the square root. Second square, which gives you the square root. I want to put 2.5. Or you can say answer down here. You see that? You can go second answer. And then enter. And that gives you 1.5811. Another way you can do it, you can say second squared right to get the square root and you can move the cursor to 2.5 and then enter see gives the same answer <clears throat> okay so the standard deviation right is this sometimes you can even put an x here if you want because you're dealing with x variables all right now how do you do this in the calculator Right. So let's quit here. Okay. <clears throat> let's click on data. I'm going to erase all this. So I click on data again. I'm going to go down here to clear all. Now I'm going to do the first, um, this column here. 1, enter, 2, enter, 3, enter, 4, enter, 5, enter. So this is really L1. Okay. And now we're going to click on data. And you'll see that it says, oh, do you want to erase it? We don't want to do that. So what we want to do <clears throat> is go where it says stat 
distribution. And that's in light blue. So we're going to click second data. Uh, now we're in the right place. So all this is one variable stats. So we need to go to one variable. See that? And enter. And then again, this is only one variable. So only L1. So L1. And we're going to click on one here, which is already done. One just means that the numbers don't repeat or anything like that. There's, it's not a frequency table. This is not a frequency table. So this is good. We enter, calculate, SX, standard deviation, 1.5811. Perfect. See that? Very nice. Another thing too, let's uh, quit. Another thing that I forgot to say is that you could put the square root and then 5 divided by 2 and then enter. See? 1.5811. Still the same. Some other things that you can do. Okay. Let's go back to data. You see this column right here where we have these numbers? Can we calculate those? I think so. If we go over here, right, and we were here, right, we're on the next column over. Uh, let's press data. Let me see. When we click when we click on data, it says clear, but we don't want to clear anything. We want to go to formula right over here, right? And it says add edit formula. So we're going to add a formula. So we're going to enter. What are we going to What are we going to add here? Well, we can take um, L. Oh, right here. I'm sorry. Right here. We can take this. This whole column is L2, okay? But here, you're doing these calculations to get these numbers. This is L1 take away 3. So I think we can press data again. Aha. Uh -huh. There's L1 take away 3. I know it's a lot of steps, but the more you do it, the more you'll remember it. Enter. Negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1. See, I can verify my answer. Next column, right? I can go to the next column and I can press data. I don't want to clear anything. I want to go to formula. I want to add something, okay? And what do I want to add? It says L3. This column here is L3, this whole column. Hmm, okay. So what we can do is we'll press data and I want to take L2 and I want to square it, right? This this is the same thing as L2 squared, right? Here's L2. But what I should do, right, is I should put parentheses first and then L2, just in case. And then close it. Right, and then we're going to square it. Enter. All the numbers are positive. Four, one, zero, one, four. So again, you can verify all those numbers. And that is where you can verify this whole table here. <clears throat> so what about the sums? Can we sum these numbers? We can, um, but it's an extra step, okay? So for L1, we want to sum L1. To do that, we go to second, stat. We'll go to one variable. And we'll go one, L1, one, calc. And you can see if we scroll down to the sum of X, it gives you 15. Again, we can go second, stats, one variable. And this time we're going to go to L2. 1 and calc L2 and then we scroll down to see the sum of X sum of X is 0 see that and this will be L3 right so second stats one variable stats we're going to go to L3 enter 1 the 1 just means there's no other numbers it's not a table it's just itself the list and enter and this will be 10, right? Scroll all the way down to sum of 10, uh, sum of x 10. See that? 
All right. I hope uh, that gives you an idea of how to do the standard deviation by hand and also using the TI-36X Pro.